A does 80% of work in 20 days. Okay. So if A completes the work 80% of work in 20 days, the next target we need to find out here is A alone can do the work in how many days. Okay. So what we need to write. So whole work done by a alone whole work done by a alone so these points you i need to write actually if i orally explain you may be forgot so after few many days again you will get out how uh, sir has written this formula so that's why i am writing everything here so that is so 20 days so 80 percentage 80 percentage of work means what we can consider it as 4 by 5 okay so 4 by 5 work can be done in 20 days then one work can be done in how many days? So this is how you need to find out. So if you cross multiply here, then you will get the answer like 20 into 5 by 4. Okay. So 20 into 5 by 4, which is 25 days. So A alone can do the work in 25 days. That is equation 1. That is equation 1. Now coming to the next point, he then calls B. So after uh, some work, after 4 by 5th work, then he calls B. Okay. Now, then A and B working together for how many days? 3 days. Now what about the remaining work? Okay. How do we find out the remaining work? If we consider 1 as a work, then 4 by 5 is completed. If 4 by 5 is completed, now we left with what? 1 by 5. So this work can be done by A and B. Okay. So, one-fifth of the work completed in three days. One-fifth of the work completed in three days. Then, what about whole work? Whole work completed. Whole work completed in how many days? Three into five, fifteen days. Three into five, fifteen days. So, one by fifty key, it, uh, they take A plus B. So, A plus B take three days. So, whole work means what? Simply we need to uh, do this. So, 3 into 5, 15 days. Now, we can know that A and B, so this is equation 2. So, we can, we know that A alone can do the work in 25 days and we know that A plus B can do the work in 15 days. Now, from 2, if you subtract 1, from 2, if you subtract 1, what do we get? A plus B, total number of days we know and minus a alone we know. So if you did this, what do you get? You will get B alone. Okay. So you will get B alone from this. Now we need to do that. Okay. Now. So how do we solve? Simple. Mm. So B is one day's work. B is one day's work. B is one day's work is what? So, one day's work of A and B. One day's work of A and B is 1 by 15 minus one day's work of A is 1 by 25. Okay. Which is equals to 4 by 150. 4 by 150 you will get it as 2 by 75. So, this is one day's work of B. Now, if, after knowing one day's work of B, total number of days is what? Total number of days will be the reciprocal of this which will be 75 by 2 which means 37.5 days so b alone can complete the work in 37.5 days okay a can finish the work in 18 days so i am finding one day's work of a one day one day work of a is is 1 by 18 next one day work of B is 1 by 15. 1 by 15. Now, 10 days he worked. Okay. So, 10 days work of B. 10, 10 days, days work, work of, of B. B. So, what is 10 days work of B? 1 day work is 1 by 15. 10 days work means what? Into 10 we have to do. So, if you do that, you will get it as 2 by 3. Okay. So, 2 by 3 work is completed. So, 2 by 3 work is, so two by three work is complete. Now, what about the remaining work? 
Okay, okay. Now remaining work is how much? One minus two by three. One minus two by three is what? Three minus two by three, which is one by three. So this is the remaining work. This remaining work, how many days that A can do? That we need to find out. Now we know that the capacity of A is one by eight. So one by eight is A's one day. Sorry, one by eighteen is A's one day's work, and one by three done. Okay. Now this we need to find out. What do we need to find out? One by three work. One by three work is done by A by A in how many days? So how do we do it? One by three is the remaining work. And A can take. So how do you do simple uh, in a simple words? For example, if four parts of work is there, and if A's one day's work is one by two, so simply how many do uh, one by two means what? We need to do like this. Okay, half. Okay. Now, so uh, I'll go with this method. So total eighteen days. So total work is remaining. That is one uh, one by three, and by Work of A is one by eighteen. Work of A is one by eighteen. So from this, what we can get it? One by three into eighteen. One by three into eighteen is how much? Six days. Which means A alone can finish the work in six days. Hope I am clear. Now we'll solve this one. Now first you need to write one thing. The days P can complete the work in how many hours? Okay. So P Can complete the work. The work. He can complete the work in. He can complete the work in how many hours? Which is twelve days into eight hours, which means ninety six hours. Now similarly, Q can complete the work in how many hours? Eight days into ten hours, which is eighty hours. Okay. This is the capacity of Q. That's the capacity of P. Now, so one hour work of P. One hour work of P is what? One by ninety six. One hour work of Q is what? One by eighty. Okay. Now, what we need to find out? We need to find out if P and Q working together, uh, working eight hours a day. Now, first we need to find out one hour work of one hour work of one hour of P and Q. One hour work of P, P and Q is how much? One by ninety six plus plus one by eighty. One by ninety six plus one by eighty. Now you need to do the LCM for this. It's a anyhow a lengthy we have. A, okay. Now I am I am directly taking eleven by four eighty. Okay. Eleven by four eight. Four eighty is the LCM. Eleven by four eighty we will get it. Now so. Both P and Q. Okay, this is one hour work. This is one hour work. Now, if you know one hour work, then we can easily find out finish the work. Okay, so P and Q finish the work. Finish the work in how many hours? In how many hours? In the reciprocal to that. Reciprocal to that is what? Four eighty by eleven hours. Okay. The reciprocal of that. So this many hours will take by P and Q together. But what we need to find out? They are working only eight hours a day. Okay, eight hours a day they they are working, and we need to find out the number of days. Okay. Now finally, the last step will be number of days of eight hours each. Okay. Okay. Eight hours each. Now how do we find out? Simple. 480 by 11 into 1 by 8. Okay, 1 by 8 because 8 hours a day. So 480 by 11 by 1 by 8 by 8 by 1. So anyhow, both are the same, which is equals to 60 by 11 days. 60 by 11 days is something like what? 5.5 something. 5.5 something the number of days. So this is how we need to find out. So four men and six women can complete the work in eight days. Finally, we are going to find out how many days ten women can complete. Now I am assuming uh, one man's one day's work. One man, 
वन डे वर्क वन मैन वन डे वर्क आई एम अज्यूमिंग एज एक्स वन उमेन वन डे वन उमेन वन डे वन उमेन वन डे वर्क आई एम अज्यूमिंग एज वाई आई एम अज्यूमिंग ओके now if you taking like this then we'll form a algebraic equation now from this what we can understand four men can complete in eight days which means four men working one man a day which is 4x plus six women working one one day which is 6y so four days four men working a day which gives you what four men working 6y gives you what six women working Wow, how many days this is for one day right one day four men can do like this one day six women one day what we are taking so that will be what 1 by 8 this is one day's work of four men and four women sorry six women now similarly if you take the second equation three men and seven women one day's work will be what 1 by 10 so one day's work of four men six women is 1 by 8 one day's work of 3 men and 7 women is 1 by 10 now by solving this equation so you know i think uh, how do we solve these algebraic equations 1 by 10 okay now if you multiply with 3 so here you need to multiply with 3 and here you need to multiply with 4 so if you multiply with 3 and 4 you will get the answers okay now here i will write it 12x plus 18 y is equals to 3 by 8. Next, 12 x plus 28 y equals to 4 by 10. Now, if you subtract, 12 x 12 x get cancelled, so we left with minus 10 y is equals to uh, 3 by 8 minus 4 by 10. Now, if you do the LCM here, 40 you will get it. 8 5 is a 40 15 10 4 is a which is 16. So minus 10 y equals to minus 1 by 40. So y so equal, y equal to, to 1 by 400. So we are getting y equal to 1 by 400. And if you substitute here in any one of the equation, now 3x plus 7 into 1 by 400, which is equal to 1 by 10. Now if you solve this, you will get x as 11 by 400 if you solve this you will get it x is equals to 11 by 400 now we know that one woman actually this x no need to find out this x no need to find out because we need to find out the 10 women complete so one woman one day's work we are assuming as y and that y we got it as 1 by 400 so finally what we need to find out 10 women work okay Ten women work. We need to find out. Ten women work. Work. Okay. Ten women work is what? One by four hundred into ten. One by four hundred into ten, which is one by forty. So one by forty is ten women's one day's work. Now the total number of days. Total number of total number days, of days will be will what? Forty days. Total number of days is forty days. No. So, as I said, one man, one day work, one day work. Man, one day work. I am taking it as x boy, one day work. Boy, one. Day. I am taking it as y. So here, if we convert that into equation, 6x plus 8y is equals to 1 by 10. And the next equation is what? 26x plus 48y y is equals to 1 by 2. Okay, 1 by 2. That's how we get it. And by solving these two equations, so you need to just multiply with six here. If you multiply, we'll get y get cancelled. So 36x. So I'm multiplying with six. 36x plus 48y equals to six by ten. 26x x plus 48y equals to one by two. So y 
why why, why this gets cancelled so we left with what 10x is equals to 6 by 10 minus 1 by 2 so this we are getting as 10 and this is 6 minus 5 which is 1 by 10 so 10x is equals to 1 by 10 x is equals to 1 by 100 so after getting x equals to 1 by 100 you can get it y value okay so y value uh, we may get uh, as you can simply substitute here you will get it as 1 by 200 then after this 15 men and 20 boys 120 boys so which is 15 into 1 by 100 plus 20 into 1 by 200 which is equals to 1 by 4 so that is one day's work one day's work then the total number of days the total number of days will be what? 4 days. The total number of days will be 4 days. Ok. 